Hello guys, uh, I'm going to show you guys a basic tutorial on how to create a level in FPS Creator. Um, this is going to be a pretty small map, but it's pretty cool, this program. You can buy, uh, yeah, you guys can buy the program if you guys wish, or uh, pirate it. doesn't really matter. It's a pretty good piece of software. If you guys are wondering what version I'm running, I'm running FPS Creator X10. Um, and I got all the model packs for it. So let's cr create a basic level. Um, this is going to be a basic level design. So what you can do is that let's just first get familiar with all of the tools um, up at the bar here. Um, first one right here is uh, new level. And what this is is that it creates a new level in your uh, in your game. Next one is open level, which you can open an existing level. In this case, if you buy the game or torrent it, doesn't really matter. There will be um, some uh, some basic levels. Then there's save level, which you can save it. All these are copy, erase, undo segment editing, re redo segment editing, and undo. Um, those ones are blanked out for now. Then there's zoom in you know you can zoom in or you can just use your mouse wheel and there's zoom out increase render shroud I don't even know what that does I all the time like I haven't even used it there's the de decrease render shroud which I believe that's for when you're in game if you want stuff to render further or render like render at a lower distance um, you would use that and there's uh, toggle layers which will show you all the layers of your map and then there's move up a layer, move down a layer, which uh, you can move up one layer. So let's say if you're going to make a two floor building. Um, so you do the bottom floor, which is the first layer, and you would go move up a level to make the second floor, and then you would move up a level from there to make the roof. Um, and you would move back down the layers to actually get to ground level. And then um, there is... Where am I? And then there's view entire layer, which shows the entire bottom layer, I believe. Um, and then there's close up view, that's like close up. Um, then there's entity mode, which just goes into entity mode, which shows all the entities on your map. There's segment mode, which shows you all the segments on your map. There's interior draw mode, which is, I believe it's like free draw or it goes to the interior or something like that to where you can actually put stuff I believe and there's exterior draw mode and there's paint only segment walls so then you can paint on your own textures um, there's paint on paint only segment floor which you can paint on the segment floor then there's pick segment which picks the segment and there's select area and here's some of the level design features there's draw segment that's line draw segment that's rectangle and draw a segment as an eclipse, or in other words, a circle. So in this case, you can make your floor. And there's spray segments, so then you can spray your floor a different color. Increase spray draw size, increase spray, or decrease spray draw size. So you can decrease the spray and increase the spray size. And there's create new waypoint and waypoint editing mode. So this way, you when you're in game, and if you create a new waypoint, it will actually show on the screen where you are going. And there's the editing mode, which then you can edit to where all the waypoints correspond to. Next, there's the test level and quick level preview. Test level actually puts you inside your game, um, and you can walk around. Uh, quick level preview is you're not actually playing, you're just moving around the map free cam. So now, since we know the basics, and I covered that for probably around uh, 4 minutes 30 seconds now, um, I guess we can... No, sorry if you can hear that in the background noise, it's just my dogs. Um, anyways, um, what we are going to do now is that we're going to start creating our level. So what you want to do first is just um, click on the top here and go draw segment that's rectangle, or you can just make your own individual thing by drawing these dots or the uh, mode or whatever but in this case we're just going to use draw segments rectangle 
pick one place and then you're just going to drag to where you want to make your map. So for me, I want my map to be that big. Uh, your screen will freeze for a second and then it should come up with the with your whole rectangle and um, your map inside. Now once you, this is going to be your floor. You can change your floor textures or do anything like that, you know. Um, I don't know how to do the paint segment. Um, now what we can do is set, oh yeah, another thing that I forgot is your library tab here. Um, there's four tabs under your library. There's prefabs, segments, entities, and sorry if you can hear that fapping, it's just my dog drinking water. Um, and there's entities and uh, markers. So now what we're going to do is, Jaden, so now what we're going to do is uh, go into prefabs. If we go into prefabs, you'll see some uh, some already made um, buildings. As you can see, there's armory large, armory small, and there's like different bunkers. Uh, uh, for some reason, this had to change back to Windows 7 basic colors. And um, for this, I'm going to make a spawn. That is, eh, you know, you can just, let me just take a storage large. A storage large, oops. And uh, put it here. As you guys will see, there's an arrow. Um, that's the way the door is going to be located. So if I want to put this here, the door is going to be up there. So I want to press R to rotate it so then the door goes this way. So I rotate it, place it. As you can see, when I placed it, there's a door right there. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to make our own building. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. What you're going to do is go under Segments and you want to go add new segment. As you can see I have all the model packs so you guys, if you guys don't have all the model packs then it will look different. What you want to do is go under rooms of any uh, thing and you will see these uh, thing, all these things here right. You want to click on the first one or it doesn't matter but it should look like this and what you want to do is that on your level you just want to left click to places where you want to be your wall. All right. If you you notice when you left click here, there's no wall. So I'll show you how to correct that in a second. And once you start getting some edges where there's no ground, it'll become a wall. To fix it. What you want to do? Oops. What you want to do is just right click on this over here. Oops. Right click on all this. Oops. That's all. And then just left click. As you guys can see, there's still no wall. So we want to right click all this. And we want to right click all this right here. What we do is that when we click, see we now have a full wall. Then what we do is that we just click on the ground again and then we fill in the ground. Now, this is our first building, as you can see. Oops. I'm doing something wrong here. Ah, damn it. Um, just one second. All of those walls may not match. I really don't care at the moment. Um, get rid of this part here. Now, once you have your building that you want to have, like me right here, let's put some extra ground there. We're, we need to make a door for this. So now we're going to go under our, wait, how much time? Yeah, I'll go up to, to the 20 minute mark. What you want to do is go add segment. Um, yeah, you want to go up to add segment. And you want to go under you know, scenery. When you go over scenery, you want to click on a door to, that, um, 
basically represents what you want to do. So in this case, there's four different types of doors. Okay, there's a fake door, which the door is just part of the scenery. You cannot actually open it with anything. Then there's the door, and then there's a key door, which requires you to have a key in order for you to open it. There's a remote door, which requires there to be a button or something like that, or some kind of thing that you need to step on, like a pressure plate or something like that, for you to uh, open it. And then there's the use door, which you can just go up to it and press E, I believe, or whatever, or F, I don't know which one, I forgot which one button opens the door, but or does actions, but um, you just have to press the action button and it will open up the door. Now, what you do is that, or in this case, I'm just going to use the uh, use door. And when you double click on it, you'll notice that there's a uh, box, a uh, transparent box, has an arrow. And again, you can press R to rotate it to where you want your door. And what you want to do is you want to put your arrow where you want your door, but you don't want it to put it in front. You want to put it behind. As you can see, it puts a door right there. Now, what we want to do is, um, well, let me just test something. Ah, okay, never mind. Um, anyways, what you want to do now is, once you are done, um, once you are done with the, uh, level here, or with here, Thing. We're not going to do much of the interior design, like wall decorations or anything like that. We're not going to do anything fancy. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to make there be a little bit of stuff inside. So, segments are what you use to build like uh, buildings and doors and stuff like that. But now what we're going to do is that we're going to use, oh yeah, and prefabs are what you would do or what you would use to make or to get custom buildings that the game has already put in. Now we're going to go over to Entities. Entities. If you go Add New Entity, these are like stuff like boxes and um, these are stuff like boxes and um, wall designs, buttons, um, characters that you can actually kill and all of that. So as you can see there's also doors in here but these are scenery items. Um, you cannot actually open up these doors. And also your weapons are all in here. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to get some uh, items. So let's just say I'm going to get a cylinder, like cylinder A, for example. And we're just going to put these over here, like this. These are like uh, barrels, right? Put them all around. And then next, what you want to do is, you know, you can go add new entity and you can go single room building, single or small bombed farm building. I'm going to do a single room building. As you can see, it brings up a building. This is yet again another scenery item. This is nothing special. Again, you just press R to rotate it. Uh, I, you know, it says static. When it says static, that means it has no feature. It has no like thing that you can do. No, I'm just going to put a building there just for craps and needles. <laughs> um, yeah, you cannot open up the door on it or anything. It's just there for scenery. Go in here, we can put some structures in. And what I'm going to do is just around my map so I do not fall out of the map, I'm going to put um, some fence, some fencing along. Um, of course, you can just space it however you want for someone to see. Okay. You, know, you can just uh, space it however you want. You know, I just got some on my Facebook. My top touch beeping like that. Now you can just put the fences what, however you want. Um, and then uh, you can also have like a damaged tank. Like for me, I'm going to have a damaged tank right here. And one on this side. Um, and yeah. Next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add enemies, and how to add guns, and how to add your player start and test out your level. Um, but for now, I'm just going to end this video, and I'll come back next episode.